Welcome to 2021. I'm going to start this video just a little bit different. I'm going to show you the end result. This is the PEX plumbing that we just completed on the new food truck. And I'm going to show you step by step how to connect this so you can pass inspection as well. I love the PEX piping because it's easy to use, easy to cut, easy to connect. You don't have to be solder all the joints together. You just crimp them right there. And at the end, it passes inspection, which is what we want. Hey, I'm Frank Baltiers, and I started a video series called How to Build Your Food Truck. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. That way you get the step-by-step -step instructions on how to start from a scratch uh, food truck or food trailer and be able to take it to a full mobile kitchen on wheels where you can pass inspection as well. If you're a loyal subscriber, thank you again. But welcome to 2021. This is the first video of 2021, and I'm excited to be able to complete this food truck trailer, concession trailer with you all. That way you guys can do the same and duplicate it on your venture that you have out there, your mobile cart, mobile trailer, mobile truck. And uh, once we complete this and we sell it, the thing, the question is, what are we gonna do next? I got a couple things in mind. Hopefully you just stick around because we're gonna keep on going with this, but first we gotta sell this one. So with that, welcome to 2021. Frank Baltiers with the DIY series, how to build your food truck. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions, subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. Let's get rocking and rolling. Alrighty, so now we're gonna connect the fresh water tank, which is this one right here. It's always a smaller one. This one's a 20 gallon undermount uh, fresh water tank from Class A Customs. I like the undermounts because they have a little groove right here and that's what locks it into the leg. Uh, there's the other kind, which is just a regular mount and those are all just like a big box and I like these a heck of a lot better. So to connect the tank to the water pump, which, which gives us the pressure to be able to wash our hands, wash our dishes and all that stuff, we're gonna need to connect to right here, which is one of the outputs of the water tank. And we're gonna use this right here, a PEX male adapter. And that's gonna go right there because we're using PEX to connect all the plumbing. So that's gonna get connected right there. Make sure we use some sealing tape. And then we're gonna come out of that part, just a little piece of PEX. And we're gonna to connect to this right here, a PEX ball valve made by Sharkbite. And this one's not required, but I did, did wanna use it because it's just like a safety thing. That way you can always shut your water off and on, whatever, just in case. So that one's not required, but it's always nice to have. That one's about $7. And then from this side right here, we're gonna elbow with the little elbow up and we're gonna come right up, boom, and go into our water pump right there, made by Seaflow. And if we look on the top, it has the arrows of the way the water has to go in and go out. So that's uh, the right side is where the water's gonna come in from the water tank. And then it's gonna come out right there. And that feeds into the water heater right away. And then from the water heater, it goes out and does this thing. I had to take the tank out of its spot because uh, I was not able to get this in there like so easily. So I had to take the tank out and it wasn't that bad. I just had to kind of remove the leg. Let me show you guys real quick. Right there, I had to take out one leg. So it's on one leg and that part right there since it's already open, I'm gonna connect that right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this same piece on there. That way, uh, it's gonna be easier to do. So I put this one this half inch male adapter on there. I put some water in here. You guys can hear it to do a uh, a test because right now it's gonna be easier. You see there it started to snow out here in uh, Illinois today. We're gonna dump this to the side a little bit to see if any water comes out. Make sure that you cover that up. You guys can see that came out of the other side. I just want to make sure there's no leaks in there. It looks good so far. So you guys can see that it does have water. All right, so we're good. That passed our uh, leak test. So now we're going to put that right back in after I put that. Whew, one and a, that one and a half inch um, male adapter on there as well, the other side on there. I'm gonna connect that right on, and then we're gonna keep moving forward with the pecs. It's getting cold out here, whoo! 
So now that we put the male adapter on here, this one right here, this one and a half inch male adapter, uh, we put some of that sealing tape underneath it. That one is just like a plug that they give you from Class A Customs if you request it. We're gonna put this tank right back. That way we put this leg back on this sink. Looks kind of funny there. But anyways, this is how this one ended up like this. There's a PEX connector right there. And then there's the other one to be able to drain out. So let's put it back in. Okay, so we temporarily just place this right here. We got the ball valve with the little piece and then the elbow that's gonna come all the way straight to our water pump. Don't forget to add your strainer. This comes with your water pump. Right here, the C Flow water pump has a strainer and this just works as like a, as a filter for like any debris that gets in here. It doesn't go into the water pump and messes it up. So don't forget to add that somewhere in between right here. And it does come with like these little connectors, but these do not fit into the half inch PEX. So you have to buy these that come with it. These are the PEX half inch connectors. So make sure that you purchase those and then these get connected to the threads right here on the strainer. So don't forget to add the strainer right in between here before you get to your water pump. So let's work on that right now. All right, so on here, I put these, this is what they're called right here, this is the name. It's a PEX female swivel adapter. That's what goes in on this side, this side, right here. But on the strainer, if you get this particular strainer, C-Flow, if you're gonna use PEX, this one's a little bit different. So this one is a male instead of a female swivel adapter. So we have to go buy that. So we cannot finish this, I'll buy it right now. And that gets connected to that part. And then this is gonna go uh, into a T. One part is gonna go to my three compartment sink. And then the other part is gonna go right into the water heater on this part right here, the cold side. And I really like this uh, XL water heater. It's an instant water heater. It's powered by propane. So that's why I like it, just because it doesn't suck up my electricity here in, uh, in the food truck so I don't have to worry about it with the generator. So this is powered by propane and it works super quick, like instantly almost. So that's why I like this. I haven't seen any faults with it yet, like any like downsides of not using it. So I recommend it, but obviously there's other options out there. There's electric ones that you can use, the little circle ones that are a little bit bigger. You can use those as well, but this is the one that I really like and the only one that I can vouch for and say it's work for me so i don't know how it's going to be in the sink that you purchased but if you go with the option that i have which is the advanced tap coat no no three compartment sink will come with its faucet is what i have seen i could be wrong so you have to buy it separate and i'm going to link this one that i purchased in the description right there bought it on amazon the issue with this is that they don't give you the half inch nipple that goes right there. So you have to go purchase it. So you have to buy two of them, two galvanized nipples. And they're gonna go right there. They're gonna go connected to that right there. But the issue is that they didn't give you anything to lock it on the other side. And you have to buy these big old washers. You have to purchase, I found these at Ace Hardware out of all places. They didn't have my Home Depot. And this is gonna serve to go to the, through the back right there to serve as a backing for the faucet. So that's what we're gonna do. And then on this side, we're gonna connect the 90 degree PEX elbows right onto this part right there. I know it can get a little bit daunting and a little bit like, oh my gosh, that's too much work. Uh, and yes, it is. It's a little bit of work, but it's either you're gonna do it yourself or you're gonna pay somebody else to do it. And if you're watching these videos, it's possible that uh, you want to learn to do it yourself and it can be done it just takes a little bit of work and a little bit of knowledge on how to get the plumbing completed so that's the three compartment sink faucet that we're going to connect right there using these nipples using these pex 90s and these big old washers so it can have somewhere to go on the back and then we're going to use uh, half inch lock nuts right back here let me show you how those look 
there it is it's gonna be these half inch lock nuts that you use right here we just found these on uh, electrical connectors and that's what they're used for but they fit perfectly right there so that's what it's going to use to secure the three compartment faucet to the sink you just want to make sure that you get back in here and get it nice and uh, snug here's a part of the work nobody sees but we want to make sure we get it right so we're gonna get that uh flathead screwdriver make sure that's tight right there same thing on this side there it is so now our faucet is nice and tight obviously if you don't have this gap behind your sink you're gonna have to go from underneath so one of the ways or the other you can make it work so that's nice and tight yeah, it's not going anywhere. Now we're going to connect this to this. And we're going to pre-assemble it with an elbow coming this way. That way when we go down here, it's going to come right down here. Let me show you guys so you guys can see. The goal of this is to bring this piece and it's going to end up right here with the elbow. And then the elbow, we're going to bring it all the way over here and just kind of leave it right there. That way we connect it over to this part and that way that hot water side on the three compartment sink is connected to the instant hot water heater and we're going to do the same thing with the blue but the blue we're going to stop it right here we're going to stop oh there it is sorry <laughs> we're going to stop it right here because that's going to connect to the water pump right there and then that's going to come on the other side and connect to there hopefully that makes sense let's rock and roll all right, so if you can see here, you see the little two danglies. You got, you got the blue one, you got the red one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cut it right here. And then from here, we're gonna 90 this way. So let's give it a snip right here. There, and that is gonna get the elbow right there. And then this is gonna feed over into the water pump right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the red, but this is gonna go straight to the water heater, not the water pump, straight to the water heater, which is right over there, that little piece right there. And so that we don't struggle to crimp these because to crimp them in here, woo, it's going to be a mission. I did it on my first truck and trust me, it sucked. So we're going to take these off. That's where we just temporarily put them. So we're going to add a piece from here to there. It doesn't have to be exact because you can cut it right over there. Just long enough to get out of this hole that we're in here so we can work comfortably over here. So that's what we're going to do next. Connect it right there and then put it all the way over there. One of the mistakes that I did when I built my first food truck is I I put everything exactly how you see it right here and then I try to crimp it where it was in place and to get that crimp tool into these little corners and crevices that is a tough one <laughs> let me tell you guys but that's why we put it together like this so I'm going to take it out exactly how it is right there and that way I'm going to crimp it outside and it's so much easier to crimp and uh, you make sure that you get a really, really good connection. So as you can see, that goes from my water pump down to there to the T. And then that goes into the three compartment faucet. And then that is going to get fed right into here with another elbow into the water heater. And that's how that works. And then we're just going to connect that little strainer to that piece right there. Yes. Success in the plumbing. Let's rock and roll. You guys got this. You guys can do it. Any questions, please let me know.
Alrighty, we made our way over to Home Depot. And these are the ones that we have purchased, $2.50 each. This is a strainer that we're using. So on one side, this thread is what fits on this female swivel adapter for PEX. But on the other side, you guys see the arrow right there? That's the water flow. So this comes to the water pump from the water tank, it has to go up. So this part right here has a different, different type of connector, which is your male adapter. So that's what we're gonna purchase, $2.52. We're gonna need one of these to connect that side with the PEX. So let's purchase that and let's get rocking and rolling. Oh, and I ran out of copper crimp rings, so I need one more pack of those. Where are those babies at? Right here, look at that. A uh, set of, how many is this? How many are you in the bag? 25, you guys can see there, 25 copper crimp rings are $6.98. Alrighty, so we're back. We got the half inch male adapter for the PEX. Don't forget to put your sealing tape on there. And then now we're just gonna secure it into this side of the strainer. There you can see the name, strainer. So let's insert it there and then tighten it up. There it is right there. That's your final product on how that contraption should look. And now we're just gonna put it there. So don't forget to look at your, air, um, your water flow arrow and you wanna make sure that it goes from your tank up to your water pump. And that's where the flow of the water is going to be. Right there is the arrow. So you wanna put that like that. It doesn't matter if you put it this way either. This is just, like I said, a little filter. And now we're just gonna put that little piece right there. So let's measure that and let's cut it. All right, so just a little recap on the crimping. That way we get it right before we finish all the crimps and then we have nothing to review. Um, what we're gonna do is we bought another bag of these copper crimp rings, the PEX copper crimp rings. We're going to slide it in one side. And then you have like on this one, for example, we have our T and it has the little ribs. We're going to insert it right there. Slide it down in there. And then we have the crimp tool right here. And then we're going to slide it together as well right there. And then we're just going to bring it together. That's so, you guys can see, it's a little, a little tricky sometimes. I'm not the, it is only the second time that I've worked with PEX. The first one was with my food truck, and now with this one. So with that, we're just gonna squeeze it together, like that, and there we go. Ah! We have our little contraption that we built there for our uh, our uh, cold water. And then we have the hot water right here. Bloop, bloop. So uh, that's actually probably gonna be a good thumbnail. So let's get that together. So that's gonna be how we're gonna put this. And then on this side, so let's get it installed. Back here in this corner where we're gonna put these, the little 90s that go into the three compartment sink. Don't forget to put your ceiling tape on there as well. That way you have no leaks. And at the end, ah, we're gonna give it a water test. Not anytime soon, but uh, when we connect everything up, we're gonna give it a water test, make sure that nothing leaks. And if it does, we'll fix it. But don't forget your sealing tape. All right, so there we go. It's almost the final product. We have our elbows right there, 90 over into where we need to go. It's a little snowy outside, so my feet are squeaky. Uh, and then this part right here, it's gonna go right in here. We're gonna put some threading tape as well right there, the ceiling tape. And then this part right up top right there is going to go, whoop, this one's gonna go up to that uh, elbow right there, right here. And then this one's gonna go right there and we're done. Oh, and then we just have to crimp all these right here. Sorry, boop, 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 boop. all the way down. There you go. Your plumbing is completed and then we're gonna power it on. It won't be today. And then we're gonna power everything on, make sure that it works. And that way uh, you can pass inspections with your plumbing using PEX plumbing. our elbow that goes down into that piece 
right there. And then we're just gonna connect this to the strainer. And we are done with the pecs. So let's keep in uh, doing the little details here and uh, make sure that you use blue pecs, red pecs if you have it, that we use the uh, color coordinated and you know what's the hot water and what's the cold water. So um, you guys can do it. You guys got this? Remember, I use pecs because it's flexible, easy to use, easy to install, and it passes inspection at the end of the day. If you have any questions on the setup right here or how to get the different parts or uh, if they have failed on me, reviews and things like that, please just send me a comment uh, and then we can get to it. We can answer that and that way everybody else can see it as well. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the video series, How to Build a Food Truck. The plumbing has been completed and then we're gonna connect it all up and power it on very, very soon. And then, uh, oh, you guys have been asking me the drain. So we're gonna do that right here. Not today because it is super cold outside and it's snowy, but that's where the drains are going to come out on the wastewater tank. And on here, that's where we're going to exit them out to the outside. I'm going to show you guys the little uh, setup I have there, which is really, really cool. So with that, Frank Baltieris, sign signing off.